and the values when they learn about uh, you know the to be reverent to, to uh, the spiritual side of growing up it's really important uh, i know there are those in the world today that would tear that apart uh, but the fact is this is a private organization their values and principles have worked for a, a century now and for pop culture to come in and try to to tear that up because it just happens to be the uh, you know the flavor of the of the month so to speak and and to tear apart one of the great organizations that have served millions of young men help them to become uh, men and to become great fathers and and uh, and and that is just not appropriate. And frankly, I hope the, the American people will stand up and say, you know, not, not on my watch. Um, as you see right over my, my shoulder right there, there's a, there's a picture on the wall. I'm in the library of the, of the Texas governor's mansion, and the greatest governor that ever served this state was Sam Houston. And from this library that I speak, he made a powerful decision uh, that cost him his governorship. Uh, he was against slavery, and he stood up and, 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 and very passionately said, you know, Texas does not need to leave the Union uh, over this issue of slavery. We need to stay. We've only been, he, he thought, uh, a terrible decision. And, and he was right, but it cost him his governorship. But that's the type of principled leadership. That's the type of c courage uh, that I hope people across this country on this issue of, uh, of scouts and, and keeping the Boy Scouts the organization that it is today because it is serving young men and women and and if we change and and become more like pop culture young men will be not as well served america will not be as well served and boy scouts will start on a decline that i don't think will serve this country well as we go into the future